welcome to Badge Skins. In this video we're going to be doing a mirror cap and a dynamic swap on our Mark II TIG 1. Okay, so the tools that you're going to need for this obviously is a mirror cap, a dynamic signal, a plastic pry tool, a T10, a pair of needle nose, and possibly a flashlight if you need to look and find something if it's too dark to see. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is remove the mirror and essentially what you're going to do is take your plastic pry tool, you're going to push the mirror, you're going to stick this in here and just give it a quick pry and pull with your fingers and once you do it's just going to pop off like this and you can see don't pull too hard because you're going to have your wires where you can mirrors. Now what we're going to do is disconnect just give it a quick wiggle and pull it off like that. And there you go. We'll set this aside. Now, if you look at the housing, inside you're going to have to later on remove these two T10 screws. And also, if you look closer inside, you're going to see a tab right here and a tab further down in there, right there. So one on the side that's vertical and one on the top that's horizontal. You could use a, your plastic pry tool or a screwdriver, but literally you can get to it with just your fingers. And it just pops off like that. Now with the new TIG-1 Mark IIs, they have the blind spot indicator on the inside. So what you'll have to do is disconnect it. And you'll see this here. Literally you just pop it off like that. And disconnect it. And we'll put this aside for later and then we'll explain with everything else. All right, so now with the OEM mirror cap removed, we have to swap this over to the new mirror cap. So essentially, if you look inside, it's these little compression brackets. Really what you want to do is you don't want to go push on the bottom one, you want to push on the top one. So the top one pushes down and you'll see that you'll be able to shove it out. Then you kind of give it a little nudge like that. It pops almost all the way out. And then you just have to maneuver it so that you can get the bottom part out. Give it a little compression and it just pops right out. Now the install is the same, you just go in reverse. So here, bring it in. Get the bottom part first. Then the top. And there you go. Here's a complete swap of the blind spot indicator. Okay, so after you're done the blind spot indicator light on the mirror cap, you're gonna go back to the housing. Now there's a few things that you have to do in order to swap this out. So number one is that we gotta have to disconnect it. So if you look here, here's the harness, and on the inside right here, facing outwards, there's a little tab, you just give it a push and pull out. Now the next step is that there's gonna be two screws, two T10s that's holding this indicator lamp in. One's exposed right here, the inner one. As you can see right there. Now if you move towards the outer one, it's actually hidden below this cowl. So what's gonna happen is that you're gonna have to unscrew the two bottom T10s in order to remove this cowl so you have access to this hidden screw to fully remove the turn signal. So if you come around, you see, as before, there was one here, I re removed it, and then there is a second one right here. Now you gotta be careful when you remove this because the plastic of this goes into there for your signal 
and also there's these two tabs up here that kind of click in. So you have to kind of like unclick them like this and then just kind of carefully wiggle it from the inside and then out like that. So if you look, watched, I kind of used my finger and thumb and kind of just pushed on that plastic part just to help it, but essentially you're going, you're going from the inside and you're popping out like that. So now that this cowl is removed, you have the outer T10 exposed and you can pretty well just remove it. And then you're also going to remove this one. Once removed, everything just pops straight out. And there it is. All right, just to compare between the OEM and our AliExpress Dynamics, it, the quality I have to say and the build is actually really nice uh, compared to the OEM. And also just in general, just overall look and aesthetics, it's really good. So we're gonna go ahead and swap these out and install it and everything's gonna just gonna be in reverse order. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna install these tinted dynamics. Everything's kind of just in reverse. We're just gonna pop everything back in. Make sure everything's kind of lined up. And screw things down. One of the great things is that you would probably want to have a magnetic torque bit. It just makes things a lot easier when you're going to do reinstalls. And number reason reason why I don't use a, any power tools is that it's just too easy to strip the plastic. So it's just always better to just use a small hand tool. It's just you get a better feel. So I, I should mention this, if you look down here, there's a little slot where this tab goes in. Just make sure that you have it in the correct slot, or obviously it helps to align the dynamic signal. Now I'm just going to go and plug it back in. Um, normally if you buy a set, I would say that before you put everything back together, you do a quick dry test by turning on the hazards or locking your door or unlocking it so that it works. I've already done it on the other side so I know that these work. All right, so now that you have the signal installed, that's part is to be putting this cowl back in. Now, sometimes it could be a little tricky when you're putting this back in, but essentially you're kind of going the opposite way. You're gonna kind of line up the, the turn signal nub into this window. And then also you're gonna notice that there's gonna be these guide pins. One here and one on the inside here. Make sure that your wires are still above it so that you're gonna have slack when you reinstall and reconnect. But more or less, you're just gonna kinda of start from the inside, the outside here. Make sure your guide pin, outside one is installed and kinda of just work your way. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna feel a bit of resistance. That's because of these tabs here. And you just have to pop it into place. And then same here. You can use your finger and move it out of the way and then it just it just locks it like that. So now that this is back in, you can put the two screws back in, like that we showed you before, that's down below, and then we're gonna reinstall the cap. After you're done installing the the cowl and tightening down the two screws at the bottom, you're gonna install the mirror cap and the mirror, and that'll be the finished product. So installing the mirror cap, you gotta have to Reconnect the blind spot indicator and put it back into its bracket, like so. Um, it gets a little tricky here, so I'm going to see if I can get this nice and smooth. More or less, you can kind of rest it like this. If you come and look, it kind of, you're kind of just getting it set up, and you're going to have the inner corner 
there, like so. You just have to play around with it a little bit. And what happens is that you just kind of give it a little shove and that's it. It's, it's kind of like you just have to play around with it. It's hard to explain, but essentially you just want to line up this inner corner and kind of push everything in like that. And you'll, you'll feel it. If there's a lot of resistance, you'll, you'll know you're kind of hitting something, but more or less it just goes in pretty smoothly like that. Okay, so now that the mirror cap's installed, the last thing you have to do is reinstall the mirror and reconnect it. Uh, one of the things you could do at this point before you finalize the install is put some dielectric grease on the connectors right here before you, you push the female part back in. So then it gives it a bit of protection if you're like in an area where you get winter and salt and stuff like that, it'll protect the electrical connections. So all you have to do essentially is just plug it back in. and then just tuck it back into place. All right, everyone, so here it is. The black mirror cap and dynamic signal install on our Badgeskins Mark II Tiguan. Um, I think it looks great for what it is. It was, I, th I think it was maybe about $60 or so Canadian for these from AliExpress. I think they're well worth it. Uh, thank you for watching. Tune into our channel as we do more vinyl bag skin installs and probably more Tiguan and Mark 7 base stuff.